I didn't blow my cover. Are you suggesting I did? It's okay, it happens. What do you do? Come on too strong. Subtlety is key. You were dressed like a cowboy. I... Enough. Perhaps we could have discussed this alone. Without all of Hufflepuff looking on. Hunter, please. I think it's worth the risk. She can handle it. Deception's her forte. I, I, I mean that sincerely, not passive-aggressively, as in it's a good attribute for a spy to... Oh, bloody hell. I asked for the ring back because I paid for it. Not as a meaningful gesture of any kind. But thanks, oh great master of melodrama. Right, because it wasn't at all melodramatic when you whispered on your deathbed. I can't do this anymore. Take that down to Bobby in the lab, have the team analyze it. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going anywhere near Bobby. You can thank me later. Thank you? What the hell were you thinking? What was I thinking? I just saved your life. You don't think I knew that guy was behind me? This? This is just you peacocking. I didn't mean that we should make the tragic mistake of marrying each other. Again. <laughs> Call it what you will. But you've got the ring you once threw in my face, and we're shagging on the regular, so only thing missing is a piece of paper. Oh, once again, too little and too late. I'll remind you that we're basically the same height, I just don't wear bloody heels. He made you, and he was gonna kill you, and sweetheart, nobody uses the word peacocking. Are you even listening to yourself right now? Oh, wait, of course you are. You love the sound of your because own voice. Because it's reasonable. One of us has to be. This is what makes you so aggravating to be Hence with. Hence not with me anymore. Lucky us. <sighs> yeah, really? And your ring? Not that you know where it is. I know exactly where it is. Just don't personally own the scuba diving equipment to retrieve it. You look good. Oh, yeah? Cheers. And, you know, with the blonde and everything, you don't look too bad yourself. It's nice of you to say. Because I heard you've been telling people that I'm a hell beast. Oh, no, I don't think so. It didn't work out because interspecies relationships are hard. I definitely didn't use those words specifically. It doesn't even sound like something I'd say, really. I was a human, whereas she was a demonic hell beast. Hey, Hunter. Nice suit. Nice suit? Really? That's what you're leading with? What did you do to your hair? Ever heard of undercover? I prefer you blonde. Well, I didn't do it for you. Two seconds in, there's already a tone. This isn't a tone. This is my speaking voice when I'm upset with an unreasonable person. Don't put your shirt on for my benefit. Dane here crashed the Pentagon servers. Mossad's Ashley Madison. He's the best consultant we have. Otherwise, he'd be in jail, or I'd have shot him by now. What the bloody hell she's doing here? Bobby's one of our best agents. Oh, that's rich. They mind telling me what I'm doing here? It's easy. I vouch for you. Why the hell would you do that? Hi. Hi. Invisibility. Imagine the possibilities. What are you imagining? Nothing fun. I'm not saying it'll be easy. I wouldn't mind hearing it's going to be easy. It'll be easy. Doesn't work if I know you lie. Kind of nice, isn't it? The two of us, alone, in the woods. <laughs> no. Not here. Not now. Though. I love the way you think. Get your mind out of the gutter, woman. Tell me you didn't try one of those little fish oil pills. I had my fingers crossed for X-ray vision. I was just curious. I wasn't the only one. I mean, I thought about it. I didn't actually do it. Rehab was a bitch. Well, you two deserve each other. I was just trying to recall the last time we went away together on a proper vacation. Hmm. Let's see. Rio, Caesar Park Hotel. We're on a mission. Stake out. San Diego. Visiting your mum doesn't count. Florence? That wasn't me. 